Hey Aries, welcome to your general reading for the full moon in Capricorn. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always. So, what can we expect from the Capricorn full moon and the lunar eclipse here? So I'll be using the Akashic Tarot deck first, three of these and then the Gilded Tarot deck whoops five of keys wishes fulfilled i remember when um scorpio got this i got my new car i was absolutely loving it loving it first card always the most important card and i'm telling you now i wanted to do a video um on when i got this five of keys card um because i'm a scorpio i want to do a video on the wishes that i had fulfilled um because and I think I ended up getting four new keys. So like to move house and two for my car. And it was just amazing. I was like, what's the fifth key? I really want to know. Um, because, you know, I, I just I was just so excited about this five of keys. So if this reading is going to resonate with you, you can guarantee that you're going to be getting really positive things coming in at this time. Wishes fulfilled. Look at the table. It's filled with all sorts of things you can imagine, even the view here is like um, bountiful. So it's like there's shelves that are stocked to the roof, there's tables that are stocked. This is just like everything you could desire at this time is coming towards you. Opportunity to have wishes granted. So whatever it is you're wishing for, wow, you got it wish granted the queen of scrolls wow she's beautiful i haven't seen her come out before the queen of scrolls there and i'm going to pull three of these cards but i'm just going to read one so i feel like as i've never seen her before i'll read the queen of scrolls for you guys and the queen of forces so the queen of forces here about um you know really focus on what it is you desire because sometimes we can confuse um the universe on what it is we want if you know like oh i want my ex no i don't want my ex i want a new love no i don't want a new love i don't need a man things like that confuse the universe so i feel like you're a huge magnet at this time day and night um you know find what it is you actually desire because it's coming to you i'm not joking i manifested this car in seven days um so and it was over ten thousand pound so guys go for it i really mean this these forces are now like within your grasp here use the moon the energy of the moon this is what this reading's for the capricorn full moon the lunar eclipse as well here so we had the solar eclipse and the new moon in uh, sorry yeah, the new moon in Cancer. It's the sun's in Cancer as well here. So things are like at a perfect balance here for an opportunity for your wishes to be granted, your desires to be met. So be very careful and clear on what it is you actually want here. Because I just feel like the force is with you. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the Queen of Scrolls there. What an absolutely beautiful card. Let me check it out, what it means, the Queen of Scrolls. As I said, I will read um, one of the cards in each reading. Queen of Scrolls. A beautiful woman holds a scroll as she stands in front of a sunlit archway. Around her swirls the energy of wisdom, knowledge, and the Akashic truth. When this card appears, she brings important information and inspiration to you. The Queen of Scrolls is a woman of higher mind whom you may already know or have, or have yet to meet. Her purpose is to help you move through the entryway to a new level of wisdom and understanding. She could be a teacher to you in some way or offer a friendship that could develop into a deeper love. This woman could be helpful to you in some project 
requiring communication. She may be an author, a marketer, a publisher. If you are a writer, she may become someone who assists you getting published. The Queen of Scrolls could also represent you or a woman in your life getting a position in a field re related to communication or academics, such as counselling, teaching, marketing or publishing. This card indicates a phase of deepening understanding and readiness to learn. It's perfect timing for personal growth and expansion, whether it's mind, body or spirit centred. Open the mysteries that are hidden in the Akash Akashic Scrolls and step through the door of knowledge. So, wonderful things coming in for you guys. I can really feel like the air feels electric here. So I feel like, you know, you have this knowledge here and things are lining up, like the planetary movements are going crazy for everybody right now. But for you guys, it seems like well balanced for you to draw in. You could, I feel like maybe if you could write a spell or something here, um, write it down what it is you want so that you can focus on your desires because it's coming. Wishes granted here. Wonderful. So let's see, Aries. Oops, one's turned over. What is it? The Knight of Wands. Somebody is coming towards you super fast now here. They may have something to say as the Queen of Scrolls here, but this is somebody coming into your life here. Let's see what that, you know, they could be the one to, you could be wishing for this person. It's on wishes fulfilled. So it could be if you're wishing for a person to come in, that's what's coming in here. Ooh, the devil. You know, the devil here and with the knight of wands is temptation, desire. You know, um, somebody being passionately pulled towards you. I obviously have to be careful on YouTube, but, um, you know, somebody's energy is just so drawn to you that they can't get enough of you here. They can't get away. They can't fight this temptation here. So they're coming towards you here. Whatever it is. It could even be a Capricorn for some. But it's like they can't fight this desire. So they're coming in fast here with the Knight of Wands. Don't be surprised if you're swept off your feet by, before I can even say, a soulmate. The card comes out here. So this is like a soulmate. I don't know, it does seem like some sort of love spell because they are just so hell-bent on getting to you now and being with you. I said hell-bent and the devil here. Okay. So maybe you feel like you're under a spell by a soulmate because you can't get them out of your mind, you can't let them go. You know, it just feels like sort of like crazy in love and can't get enough of each other. So... If that's what you wish for, be careful what you wish for because it's coming here. It's coming. Whew. New beginning. Starting fresh. Taking chances here. Wanting to jump into their arms and be caught. Like, you know, I don't want to fall if there ain't nobody to catch me. So it's like jumping into somebody's arms here or even somebody's bed even. <laughs> because I don't know what you got going on but this it seems very hot and heavy um yeah they this soulmate whether you know them yet I think that even said you may have not even met them yet or you could know them or you haven't met them yet but here this soulmate connection this tie it's like feels unbreakable like a lot of people feel like you know just the devil card is about toxic energy it's not it's about desire and um n unbreakable bonds because it's usually two people in the card that are tied there together they're just going through a tough time right now that 
one or more, you know, disagree with. Three of Pentacles. You could meet this person at work. Um, but this is like making all kind of crazy plans together with this Three of Pentacles here. Like, they may have plans for you or you may have plans for them. Like, okay, when they get here, I'm going to throw it down like this, like that. It just seems like that. <laughs> the King of Cups. So it could be a water sign. Um, it just reminds me of the Scorpio reading that I did with a fire sign. So the King of Cups is usually a Scorpio as well, but it could be any water sign. Um, but here it's like... I don't know, it's some sort of like connection or magic or pull magnet here that just can't get enough of and they're making plans, I'm going to pick you up, throw you against the wall, roll you over, <laughs> them sort of things here. So yeah, that's the king of cups. Looks like he's, look at his little mind, he's not saying anything but he's making plans here. He's making concoctions here. You know, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I better stop this energy here. Yeah. I don't even know where I put my crystals. Queen of Swords. So, you... <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... I feel like although you're enlightened and you know you may have been with this person before this is you know I've been there done that sort of thing I got the t-shirt here this is divorcee queen um, I don't feel like you're being cold or something I feel like it's a tantalizing game of playing hard to get like I'm not gonna be easy and I think they like that that you know it's not a, it's not being cold it's a difference, like playing, like, you know, you're also flirty, but, you know, you can't have this yet. I don't know who this reading is for, but... <laughs> Thanks for making me embarrass myself on YouTube. You're awesome. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, yeah. Don't make them feel like... Um, they're left out in the cold here because that's not your game you want to just play you know a little bit hard to get but you're not playing not get got you know you just want them to work because you're worth it as the queen of swords and you know your worth and you know your self-respect so you know it's not playing not get got it's just like playing a little hard to get you know they they might end up feeling a bit left out in the cold, so be careful because they're making plans um, on what they want to do. Okay. Seven of Swords. Um, yeah, I feel like just be careful if this is a new relationship about little white lies. Um, you know, because you may feel like they're doing no harm or they may feel it, you may feel it, whichever you may feel like, oh, well, you know, it's just a little white lie. I, you know, I don't have to tell them everything about me. I only just met. But just be careful about little white lies building up, okay? Oops, okay. So somebody wants me to tell a story about um, they got left behind by Aries um, because the Aries lied, cheated, deceived, left them in the cold, refuses to message them. Um, they left them with the burden because they had another option. Okay. So I see you, cross watcher, watching for Aries who did this to them. But that's not everybody, okay? That's not, I mean, now's opportunity for you 
to get justice with the Queen of Forces. Let's just say she's another Queen of Swords here as well, but like a major arcana, and we have the Queen of Swords as well. Get justice, the Hermit here, you know, look within for answers. But here, this just seems like somebody meeting a new soulmate or bumping into somebody they've already known, somebody they have a connection with, and they're like, damn, I'm making plans with you, for you, and, you know, you playing a, don't play too hard to get because they'll take it as you're not interested and be careful about little white lies building up there. So let's see. Nine of Wands, yeah. So you've just got your guard up because, you know, you've been through this before, you know, um, so you're not just going to be so easy this time. So your guard's up a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing to worry about here. That's fine. As long as, you know, you jump when the fool asks you to, that's fine. Um, because then you get this soulmate connection where you're going to have lots of fun. Good luck, guys.